Tonight from Ames, Iowa, college basketball's lone unbeaten team faces its toughest test to date. To you from Hilton Coliseum, one of the best home courts in all of college basketball. With that, we welcome you inside alongside Fran Fraschilla. I'm Rich Hollenberg. It's about uh, this building. They've been great games in here. They've got great players who have played here, including this young man from Ames High School, sophomore Taman Lipsy, who is the head of the snake. And believe me, the Cougars will try to cut that head off tonight. Lipsy, the leading scorer for the Cyclones, the leading rebounder, and leading them in assists and steals as well. His head coach, TJ Otzelberger, has authored 10 wins against top 25 foes in his two plus years at the helm at ISU. Looking for number 11 tonight against second ranked Houston, who controls the opening tip in their road black uniform. Both of these teams will be very aggressive. You'll see some trapping and pick and roll and in the post. Here's LJ Cryer, number four in black. The Baylor transfer has some history in this building. Cryer with 10 on the shot clock. Way off the mark, and the first rebound of the night goes to Robert Jones, 12 and white. Cyclones would love to run and get some easy baskets in transition. Cyclones virtually the same starting five every game this season. Taman Lipsy joined by Keyshawn Gilbert in the backcourt. Trey King, the freshman, Milan Momchilovic, who you're very high He's on. He's outstanding. A great shooter, six foot eight. He's got a lot of different weapons in that uh, arsenal. There's the 46-year-old TJ Otzelberger, three times an assistant here. Now a head coach. Momchilovic off a little too strong on that three-ball attempt. You're going to see a lot of side-to-side -side continuity early. Ball moves well. They don't necessarily play through the post switch, they play through guards. Here's Jawan Roberts' left hand, no good. And it's one and done again for Houston, and that's a good sign for the Cyclones' defense. Well, you've got the fifth-ranked defense in the country for the Cyclones. Unfortunately, the number one defense is on the other side of the court. What does Houston do so well defensively? Uh, ball pressure. They look, you, you think there's seven defenders out there, Rich. Nice pass. Here's Gilbert. And a tough two along the baseline opens the scoring for the night. Yeah, good defense there by Sharp, but uh, this team, the Cyclones, have three guys stepping up from mid-major to the Big 12, and Gilbert one of those. Lipsy got his first steal of the night, and what a pass to Gilbert! If there's one weakness, Rich, the Cougars have, there are times where they have scoring droughts. Cryer with eight on the clock. Lipsy right up in his chest. And Cryer lost it. Another Houston turnover. Here's Gilbert. And he gets fouled and will go to the floor. And then go to the line when he gets up. Burger today, when you play the bully on the block, which is the number two team in the country, you must deliver the first blow. And early in this game, two minutes in, they have definitely rocked the Cougars quickly in this first round. Taman Lipsy went from a role player, essentially, at starting point guard last year to a stat sheet stuffer this year. And there's another foul on Houston. That's Gilbert triggers the inbounds under their own basket. Here's Lipsy, three and white. Nice feed. Jones had it blocked. Houston's 12th in the country in block shots. That's a trap here in pick and roll. Jamal Shedd working on a mismatch. Offensive rebounds have been hard to come by. Jones travel. Prepare a team, you prepare a team to fail. So when you don't make shots, you still can score off the offensive glass. Here's Shed to Cryer. Off the mark on the three. Here's Trey King from deep. That one goes out of bounds. It'll stay Iowa State basketball. It's number five, Curtis Jones checks in, as does Hassan Ward in his third game back after foot surgery. Well, Hassan Ward has been a big factor on that, uh, on that defense this year. The VCU transfer. Here's King. 
And he got walled up by Francis, taken back by Ward. Momchilovic showing that range. One thing we know about that freshman, he's not afraid of the moment. Shit. And the crowd wanted to turn over, and then they got it. Young man from Pewaukee, Wisconsin, highly recruited. He told us today that nobody recruited him harder than Iowa State. Take a look right here. Watch the release, a little Larry Bird-like as he knocks it down. That Wisconsin pipeline is strong from that state to Iowa State. Here he is again. And a foul called. The elite company when it comes to being the last remaining undefeated yeah, team. But it's a long season, and they, not, they now are in a league where they are going to get dinged a little bit, and they know that. It's going to make them better for March. Lipsy for three. Got it! And that's the biggest improvement he's made from last year. Oh, he does so many things well. When he added that three-point shot this summer, it has made him an elite point guard. And this... Program Iowa State has had some great point guards through the season, through the years. Now has 22 threes last year, only five. Yep. Our Cougs have dug a hole early. This is going to be fun to see if they can get out of it. Another turnover, the fourth of the night for Houston. Iowa State fifth in the country in forcing turnovers. Here's the lob. To Ward. This is the champ getting knocked down in the first round, and maybe the second round. More than five minutes gone by, and still a zero next to the number two team in the country. Jamal Shedd can't break it open. And Lipsy the rebound. Nice pass. Ball movement by the Clones. They took the Cougars' pressure and used it against them. How did they do that? They got rid of the ball quickly out of the double team, and the big fella from the short roll made their delivery. Emmanuel Short finally gets the points on the board for the Cougs. Kelvin Sampson's coached over a thousand games. He's not going to panic. It's way too early. It took six minutes, but Houston finally in the scoring column, down 14-3. Iowa State coming off a Saturday loss at Oklahoma. Houston won their Big 12 opener at home against West Virginia. You pick and roll, you have to get rid of the ball quickly out of the trap. They knew this was coming. Take a look now. Watch the handoff and the double team and the quick roll by Ward and a great cut on the baseline by Trey King. That's what you call a chess match. This morning and this afternoon, both teams play very similarly in terms of pick and roll. How do they do that? Aggressively. Uh, not very aggressively. Take the ball out of the guard's hands. Tough shot right there by Gilbert. And the rebound goes to the freshman, Joseph Jojo Tuglin. That one waved off, a traveling violation on one in black, Jamal Shedd. At the Peterson Event Center, a pair of Duke guards as the head coaches going toe-to-toe -to -toe yeah. in that one. John Shire, he's, he's going to be a tremendous coach. Jeff Capel has resurrected Pitt Panther basketball, no question. Those guys know each other well. Seven minutes gone by here in Ames, and the home team, the Iowa State Cyclones, with an 11-point lead off the lone unbeaten team in the nation, the number two Houston Cougars. Uh, Gilbert's got to shoot that ball. You're not going to get a better look than that. Lipsy doesn't bail him out, but an offensive rebound, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Houston ball. Great effort. And, uh, that should have been called a foul. That is a foul. Should have been called. 
But it's that type of game. Both teams are going to play very physically. Officials tonight, Gary Maxwell, Ray Natilli, and Roland Simmons. And Gary, one of the best in the business. Ten on the shot clock. Damian Dunn goes down. And it's going to be Iowa State basketball. Now, the one thing Kelvin Sampson is not going to be happy with is they have been rattled on the offensive end. Way too many turnovers, and he's telling his team that right now. That's the Cougs' sixth turnover tonight. And they average just nine turnovers a game. Well, remember, you got the two teams in America with the highest turnover rate, so not necessarily a big surprise. Tom Chilovich almost lost it. Here's Gilbert. He's got a triple-double earlier this season. With 10 on the shot clock, can't get it to go. And Sharp loses it out of bounds. Turnover number seven for Houston. And with that, we step aside the under-12 media timeout, and Kelvin Sampson is apoplectic. His team down 11. To be in this far behind this early, and uh, Iowa State's defense has been absolutely devastating. Rich, they play similarly. Houston, a little bit older team with more experience, but Iowa State using his home court to really ratchet up the pressure. Walk through practice today. You can see it out here. They've handled those double teams and pick and roll, like right here. They didn't double that time. Robert Jones short. And here come the Cougs. And Lipsy told Machilo to shoot that ball. Here's that pressure. It's a double team at half court. Ramon Walker, three and black with the ball. Nothing easy tonight for either team. Sharp in the corner. No. And a foul on the floor on Iowa State. That's going to go on Robert Jones. Just because Jones is on the inside. Doesn't mean he's allowed to root that offensive rebounder out. T.J. Altsberger pleading his case to Ray Natilli on the <laughs> sideline. He knows. He's just posturing. Five to shoot for Houston. Shed does. And it's off to the left on the three ball. But an offensive rebound for Houston, one of their specialties. He'll say that a few times tonight. Good job by Emmanuel Sharp. Very improved player. Seven to shoot. Sharp does. And he's got it. Second three of the night for Emmanuel Sharp, the redshirt sophomore out of Tampa. You know that kid well. You're from that area. He missed his senior year with a broken ankle, and he just got the metal and screws taken out of that uh, leg this summer prior to the season. So it's Iowa State 14, Emmanuel Sharp 6. And now make it 16-6, second bucket of the night for Tame and Lipsy. Best thing about Lipsy, Rich, is that he's become an effective scorer to go along with the great playmaking and defense. He also has a triple-double to his credit this season. And there is an unforced error. Number eight on the night for Houston. Taman, Taman Lipsy. Take a look right here. Watch this drive to the basket. Goes off the opposite foot. Kind of throws that shot blocker into a little turmoil right there. And there you see mom and dad, this young. They work at Iowa State, Robert and Holly. Let's see. This kid's been coming to games since he can remember. And when we talked to him today, we said, did you think of going anywhere else? He said, no, I've been a Cyclone fan my entire life. And, of course, he loved Monte Morris. Went from the little Cyclones in high school to the big-time Cyclones here in Hilton Coliseum. The freshman with his first two-point field goal tonight. He has five, and the lead is a dozen. This guy could easily be on that list. This is not a good free throw shooting team, but Emmanuel Sharp is now 15 for his last 15. Dad Derek Sharp, uh, former South Florida star, spent many, many years uh, playing in Europe. Two for two for Sharp. So it's an 18-8 Iowa State lead with the basketball. Houston, the lone unbeaten team in college basketball at 14-0. But they are on the ropes early in Ames. 
Watch the ball. Ball has really moved well tonight versus this pressure. Here's Curtis Jones, the Buffalo transfer. Ward. Got it. Nice bounce for Hassan Ward. Remember, Hassan Ward did not play much last year behind two very subtle big guys, but he came back with, with renewed energy. And there's a trap right in front of the Cyclones bench, forcing a timeout call by Kelvin Sampson. Another 30-second timeout. Well, it's T.J. Otzelberger has built this program on defense, number five in the country, and they have gotten started early and are rocking Hilton Coliseum. You don't see Houston lose their poise this often and this many times early in the game, but the Rich, we watched the work, the walkthrough today. We watched practice yesterday, and coming off a loss at Oklahoma, we had a feeling that the intensity level would be dialed up. T.J. Altsberger was very honest with us this morning. He said he doesn't think this is his best defensive team, but those numbers tell a different story. Well, they do. The first team he had with Isaiah Brockington, that was an elite team. Tyrese Hunter, of course, good pass. Shed short in the corner. Nice tap out. But Cryer can't pay it off. Here's Gilbert. Just one for 12 from three in his last five games, but he can stuff the stat sheet like his backcourt made Lipsy. Tough shot. Tough shot. Good defense. The rebound goes to Tugler. DJ Otzelberger's done a good job of resting Taman Lipsy. I think he knows he's going to have him have to have him for the long haul tonight. Nice look. Nice feed, and Tugler will go to the line. And, and the app, R.J. Davis, close to he's 21 points a game for him. outstanding. He's been a first-team All-American level player. Young man from Archbishop Stepanak in uh, Westchester County. Tar Heels, three big guys that uh, Kelvin Sampson has coached at Houston. Melvin has been at Houston now, hard to believe, Rich, a decade. Second winningest all-time coach there behind the legend, Guy Lewis. Tugler goes one for two, the hometown kid. And now Lipsy back on the floor, guarded by Sharp. They try and force him left, and that is Houston basketball, but they're going to get a foul called on the Cougars. Tugler whistled for that one as we step aside. The Cyclones have one. One turnover. They have an 11-point lead and the ball. There's that pressure trap there in pick and roll. Good job by Lipsy. Ten on the shot clock. You can hear T.J. Altsberger yelling, move it. And they turn it over. Here's Cryer to Shed. Boy, I thought Jamal should have shot that. He had a layup. Roberts, nice feed and the dunk by number five, Javier Francis. We haven't said his name much tonight, but he is another one of those guys that it's very underrated for this team. Great drive and dish. So the Houston defense, so ferocious, leads to a bucket at the other end. Ball's out of bounds. And Louisiana. Here's Mokchilovich. Ten to shoot. Now Jackson Pavletsky checks in. Number one in white. First action of the night. Oh. And that's a big block by Jawan Roberts. Well, Lipsy tried to foul in the open court. They didn't call it. Done. Too strong on that three ball. Offensive rebound, but the putback won't go. And another offensive board. Jed, this is starting to look like the number two team in the nation. This is why... Kelvin Sampson says our offense begins with the shot up on the glass. Jamal Shedd now six away from a thousand, Fred. Got it. No, he's not a shooter, Watson, but don't pass up good shots. The other 55% are basically 50 50 balls because of that great offensive rebounding. Lipsy at the line, already five points. Score, rebounder, and assist man on this Iowa State team. And he goes one for two, six for Lipsy. And it's a 21-14 Iowa State lead. 
I don't know about you, but I get the feeling the Cougars will continue to climb back in this game. Too much winning DNA. Coming up on six minutes to go in an entertaining first half from Hilton Coliseum. Cross court, done. Takes it right at Robert Jones and still gets it to go. Damian Dunn, the transfer from Temple, the coaching staff has said he's had the best week of practice this past week. He's learning how to play hard, and you saw right there him use that body and go right to the basket. Here's Pavletsky, transfer from Wofford. He was the freshman of the year last year for them. Got to keep that ball moving. See, too much. It's sticking. Momchilovic dribbled it off his leg. It goes out of bounds, and Gary Maxwell says it's Houston basketball. Remember, last year, Temple went into Fertitta Center and knocked off the Cougars. When he put his name in the portal, Kelvin Sampson said, he'll fit with us. He had 16 in the game-winning free throw in that game. And Houston was number one in the nation at the time. They turn it over now. That is... Nine turnovers for the Houston Cougars. That's their season average. And another foul call. Good shot opportunities. Be by T.J. Otzelberger. T.J. never got a chance to coach him, but they certainly uh, knew each other. And again, put his name in the quarter. Remember, Iowa State's had some unbelievable transfers through the year. Six for Gilbert, the lead is seven for the Clones. Under five minutes to go in the first half. Sharp with 10 to shoot. He does, and he nails another three ball. Well, Emmanuel Sharp broke the schneid early when it was 14-0. And he has been the offense for the Cougars. Doesn't turn 20 until this March. Emmanuel Gilbert, Emmanuel Sharp, number 21 in black. Here's Momchilovic. Can't answer. And it says, we don't recruit defense. We need to score. We recruit scores, and I'll teach him to play defense. Here's Sharp with the pull-up. And look at the fight for that rebound, but Iowa State comes away with it. See, they got to push it and get out of transition. Lipsy that. draws the foul on Jamal Shedd. <laughs> Iowa State basketball. The coach back in the game, and we have two of the elite winners, point guards in college basketball, and Shedd and Taman Lipsy. And that's one area he has to continue to improve, Taven, is at that free throw line. He's improved the three-point shooting. But that's the next step. That one picked off by King. Here comes Lipsy in transition. Hassan Ward, the bounce pass, but the offensive foul. Let's talk about those point cards a little bit. Now, there's been some great ones here, obviously, going back to Jeff Hornacek, Jamal Tinsley, don't forget Will Blaylock, Monte Morris, we love watching him, and Tyrese Halbert, who I know is watching tonight, and we wish him the very best as he uh, recovers from that hamstring injury. It looks like it's not serious, and uh, I absolutely know that basketball junkie from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, is uh, tuning in and watching the Cyclones. Still love for this team among those former players in the Hoiberg, Chrome, and now Otzelberger era. Because Otz was here with those guys is immense. How about Ty Halliburton? What a breakout year. Back-to-back -back games with over 20 assists. He's on his way to an incredible career. And Tatum Lipsy the latest in that lineage. Yes, he is. Well, good pass right there. Whoa! And it's good to see Rob Jones get up quickly because that was one heck of a foul. Let's take a look right here. It's absolutely a flagrant one. Now the question is, you have to go to the monitor to see if this was severe and extreme. Rich, 
I believe, I don't think he did it purposely to hurt Rob Jones, but this to me would be the definition of severe and extreme. This could be a flagrant two, but I don't think they're going to check. It's just going to be a flagrant one. Okay. Jones just a 55% free throw shooter. The, the rule is excessive contact is a flagrant one. Now, I don't know for the life of me why they did not go to the monitor. And Jones makes a pay with two free throws. And now it'll be Iowa State basketball after that flagrant foul. I would have been apoplectic on that. And again, I don't think Damian Dudd did that to hurt Robert Jones, I just thought that was severe. Don't like that at all. That's dangerous. And nearly picked off by Juwan Roberts. It'll stay Iowa State basketball. We're supposed to protect airborne players, and I don't I think that was that there should have been a flagrant two. Jones lost it. Sharp comes away with it. By the way, what happens if Robert Jones breaks his arm right there? It's, it's not a play. It's not a play to him. The same type of contact. They have battled back, and I'm telling you, if they're within five or six, this second half is going to be a whole different situation. Sharp, short. Jones the rebound. Houston has never trailed at the half this season. 14 and 0 coming in. He's not very talented. This comes from his coach. He said, but his effort and energy has been a spark for us for three seasons. And that one goes in. Jones three for three from the charity stripe. That's some gravy for an Iowa State team. And Rob Jones even caught the attention of Kelvin Sampson, who at shoot around today was telling his big men, you have to match the energy of Robert Jones. These teams are very similar. Let's listen in. T.J. Altsberger loves Rob Jones. Apparently, the Hilton Coliseum faithful do too. Two and a half to go in the first half. Here's Malik Wilson, eight and black. Lost the handle, seven to shoot, and then he lost it out of bounds. So it's Iowa State basketball up by eight, 222 to go. Looking to hand the Houston Cougars their first loss of the season. Momchilovic on the move. Here's a lob. Francis can't finish it, but he got fouled and will go to the line. To Momchilovic, he's got more tricks than David Copperfield. Take a look right here. Watch this little step back off a pressure defender, and he nicely knocks it down. He could shoot it, Rich. He can shoot it on the move, shoot it off the dribble, and he's got this little Dirk Nowitzki uh, step back, and uh, let's see if he can pull a rabbit out of a hat tonight as well. Francis misses the first one. We mentioned Larry Bird in relation to Momchilovic's style. A little bit of Dirk Nowitzki yes, in does, as well. Because he likes to shoot off a one leg on the fadeaway. He's got a lot of weapons in that bag of tricks, as we mentioned. Really good offensive player for a freshman. Ward out, Jones in for T.J. Otzelberger. Francis goes one for two. Now Francis goes to the bench for Kelvin Sampson. Ramon Walker on in his place. Now if you're used to it, you want to try to get it to six or five if you can. You need a couple stops and scores right here in the last 90 seconds. Largest lead of the night has been 14 for the clones. They're up nine, counting down to one minute to go. Great defense by Sharp. King. Tough two, no good. That's what Houston forces you into. 
These are two big possessions for Houston because they'll get at least two more shots at scoring. Shed, talk about a tough two. He got fouled and will go to the line. Last and 10. We talked to Milan Mancilovic today, and I said, Serbian, right? He said, yep, my grandfather came here from Serbia. And I said, who's your favorite player? And of course, he said, Jokic. Back there. Milan's dad, a great volleyball player in Milwaukee. And I, I, this kid's going to be a star in this league. I'm telling you, he can really score it. Had 12 in his Big 12 debut at Oklahoma. He, you know, he's not George Niang, a little different, but he's going to have the same type of popularity someday. Jamal Shedd, one for two. He's been held to just four points. Now five shy of 1,000 in his decorated Houston career. But his team's down eight with under a minute to go. Important stop for Houston. King. Good patience around the rim, but he comes up empty. Two for one opportunity no, still. They're not going to go, I think. They're going to make sure they get a really good shot. Too sloppy. And another turnover. This one courtesy of Ramon Walker. Yep. And that is turnover number 12 tonight for yep. Houston. They have sped Houston up all night long with Ramon Walker right there, just a little bit out of control. Belmont has seen this before. Halftime will be interesting. I expect a different Cougar team, Rich, but I also expect the Cyclones to come out with uh, breathing fire as well. Hey, Cougs, welcome to the Big 12. Seriously, this is going to make them even better, the competition they'll see every night on the road. We said it at the top of this telecast. This, to date, by far their toughest test of the season. Only about a two-second differential between shot clock and game clock. Lipsy will wind it down. The Hezzy off the window. First half dominated by the homestanding Iowa State Cyclones. Houston trails for the first time this season going to the break. It's 31-21 Iowa State. Time for the halftime report. Ranked second in the nation, have the best defense in the country, but tonight they're getting a taste of their own medicine. Held to just 30% from the field in the first half by a ferocious Iowa State defense. And the Cyclones are up 10 on the number two team in the land, 31-21. Back inside Hilton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa, alongside my partner, Fran Fraschella. I'm Rich Hollenberg. Tonight on offense for Iowa State, we are seeing a star on the rise in Taman Lipsy. Well, he's one of the best point guards in the Big 12. He's only a sophomore. He grew up about two miles north. Just drive up Ridgewood Avenue, and you'll hit Ames High School. And he's grown up as a young man who always wanted to be where Monte Morris and Ty Halliburton and Bill Blaylock. He was probably a baby back then, but what a... What a player he's turning out to be, a great team leader against a team that pr provides a lot of pressure. Iowa State 10-1 when they lead at the half this season, and they led in an important category in that first half, Fran, 14-4 in points in the paint. You said this was going to be a game of toughness. Well, no question, and that's something that T.J. Otzelberger uh, needed to see from his team. They've seen it so far. Cyclones in white start with the ball in the second half. Seven to shoot. Trey King. Good swing. Gilbert, high arcing three off the mark. And Emmanuel Sharp, who led all scorers with 11. That first ball off the mark and out of bounds. And JoJo Tugler can't corral it. It'll be Iowa State basketball. Because both teams are so good in the half court defensively, you really do have to get out and run and create some open court opportunities. That's why you saw Houston get out and push it and shoot it quickly. Oh, he had Lipsy. Monchilovic didn't want to throw it. Here's Lipsy. Right into the teeth of the Cougars defense and Taman Lipsy will go back to the line. Very aggressive. He saw he had the lane and there's no way the defender could get back in front. 
That's the second foul on his point guard counterpart, Jamal Shedd. Yeah, but watch. He's going to catch it at the top, see the little gap, and now he takes off. And again, just draw contact in that lane. Shedd tried to go vertical right there, but the official felt no, he wasn't established. Big one. You see, these are the, this is what he's got to improve. And you know why, Rich? He's going to get fouled a lot this year. This Iowa State team came into the week receiving votes in the AP Top 25, but Ken Palm likes them. 18th in the nation, fifth best defense in terms of efficiency. You know, Taman's one for five from the line. He can't give away points like that in this kind of game. Here's Cryer. And he gets going in the second half. Scoreless in the first. The first three of the night for L.J. Cryer. That's a great set play by Kelvin Sampson. He knows he's got to get L.J. going. And he just X'd off the post and L.J. wide open. 22nd in the nation and three-point field goals made is L.J. Cryer. Oh, Stajilovic lost it. Lipsy got it back and knocks down the base for the foul line jump shot. Better at the foul line jump shot than at the foul line tonight. Lipsy has 10, the lead is nine for the Clones. And TJ told us the X factor for Houston is LJ Cryer because of how effortlessly he can make shots. Five on the shot clock for the Cougs. Sharp rises up, can't knock it down. And it's one and done for Houston. Four on four, open court. Inside, Jones double teamed immediately. Rich, let's go back and watch this little set play by Kelvin Sampson to get LJ Cryer going. Cryer is right here. It's going to be a little X off the post. Watch this. Little crisscross, freeze him, and he's going to make that shot about six out of ten times that wide open. Excellent job by Kelvin Sampson. He knows, he knows that the LJ's got to get going and score some points. LJ Cryer had 20 points and four for seven from three against West Virginia in their Big 12 opener. Jawan Roberts, nice use of the left hand. So LJ Cryer gets in the scoring column, and now Jawan Roberts has his first bucket of the night. Lipsy blocked, but a foul is called, and Tim and Lipsy will go back to the line. And he wants a goaltending call on that one. They're going to talk about it. Let's see. And Joseph Tumbler, JoJo, is down after that foul was called on. Watch Taman get to the hole right here. Tumbler comes from behind. And interestingly enough, it was Emmanuel Sharp who took the biggest blow, but Tumbler came from behind and fell right over him. The block looks good. We'll see what they're reviewing right here. I thought the block looked good from my vantage point. Now, you can't go by the backboard. That's one thing you know. The, 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 the video behind the backboard will never be accurate because of the, uh, the way uh, the camera's constructed, but they're going to say two, two shots. No Well, Ray Natilli was trying to speak into the microphone, something that we're getting used to this season in college basketball, but I don't think either might work for him. We do know this, Taman Lipsy is going to the line and shooting two, and as you just alluded to moments ago, having a tough time at the stripe today. Yes, one for five. These are important. Yeah, normally these officials will come over and tell us what happened, but uh, kind of extenuating circumstances right now. And Lipsy squares it up and goes two for two, so it doesn't for number three in right team and Lipsy, and he's exhorting the crowd to get into it, and they do. Nearly 
three turned over, but Houston will retain possession with 14 seconds left on the shot clock. These defenses, Rich, mirror each other. Great help, trapping in the post, trapping pick and roll. So far tonight, Iowa State has executed defense better than Houston. Inside, loose ball. He one more, and Sharp pays it off. Another three-pointer from Emmanuel Sharp, his fourth of the night. Excellent ball movement that time off of a loose ball, kind of a vintage Cougar play right there. Back to a two-possession ball game. Cougars looking to remain undefeated and move to 15-0. They're the only undefeated team in the nation. The trap. Lipsy nearly turned it over. There'll be eight to shoot for the Clones. Damon Lipsy's got to know that when he's got that ball on the sideline off of a triple handoff or a ball screen, the trap is going to come and you have to get rid of it quickly. Now Curtis Jones, look at that sideline out of bounds play. Second big dunk of the night for Hassan Ward. Again, nice touch to Roberts. No Lipsy on the floor now, no Robert Jones either for the Clones. Curtis Jones has it. Good ball movement side to side versus that pressure. They go inside out. Too strong from Curtis Jones. I like the ball movement, good contest on the shot. What would you like to see Houston do on this possession? LJ Pryor or Emmanuel Sharp. Sharp with a strong take to the 10. He'll get fouled and he'll go to the line when we come back. 15.07 to go. Iowa State bringing the thunder. Why not? Hilton Coliseum. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by AutoZone. Get in the zone. And 12 turnovers when they only average nine a game coming into this contest. Emmanuel Sharp, his first miss in his last 16 free throw attempts. And you see the frustration etched on the face of Kelvin Sampson. One for two. He's probably not feeling great right now, but on the other hand, they have played poorly and they are within striking distance. Remember, the winning and the toughness is in that DNA. Watch inside. Lipsy back on the floor. Step back. Mid-range. Off the mark. The rebound of Francis. O.J. Cryer held in check so far tonight, one of the best three-point shooters in the nation. I'll tell you, Mobchilovic moves his feet pretty well for a freshman who's six foot eight. Town at six. If you're a Big 12 fan, you got to have it. Sign up today at ESPNPlus.com slash Big 12 now. We saw a great Texas Tech win in Austin on Saturday night. Good look. Wide open is shed. What a rebound. And that's the Houston specialty, but Iowa State has done a good job of minimizing those Houston Cougar offensive rebounds. Under their own basket, Jamal Shedd. Here's Cryer. Lipsy is up in his jersey again. Great matchup. Damon, very good defender. Seven on the shot clock. Shedd. Pushed, no whistle. That, that had to be a whistle. That, that was either a block or a charge, and you can't have that much contact and not have a call. Either way, Iowa State comes away with it. Trey King, and that one was blocked.
And a great tie-up by Keyshawn Gilbert on LJ Cryer. Rich, let's go back and watch this last play. Watch the drive right here. Gilbert in good position. And he takes the charge in the middle of his chest. And by rule, the way they've explained it to me, that should be a charge. And then, yeah, here comes LJ. Watch out for LJ Cryer. This kid is the leading scorer in the history of the city of Houston. Fifth all-time in Texas. Five points now for LJ Cryer, all in the second half. Good trap. This is as close as the Cougars have been since the opening moments of this game. Gilbert. A foul, and Gilbert goes for a tumble, and we'll go to the line. When you transfer home to Houston, whether it's uh, Quentin Grimes, now in the NBA, and L.J. Cryer. In his last two games in this building, wear, wearing a Baylor Bears uniform, he was 6 for 10 from three-point range, but he only has one three tonight. He's got the ball across half court now for the Houston Cougars. Down five. Coming up on 13 to go. The last unbeaten team in the nation. On the ropes. Stolen away by Ward. The lob. And it somehow goes. Hassan Ward's been a high flyer tonight. He made a steal that was absolutely incredible. Sharp, top of the key. Hey. Yes, smooth stroke. I'll tell you what, great ball movement out of that trap. Both teams trapping the post, and it's a matter of who gets rid of it quickly. And Emmanuel Sharp stepping up big tonight. At 25 earlier in the season, he has 18 tonight. And his defense is getting better, too, which is something their staff loves. This game far from over. Houston down just four. Another lob to Ward. This time, no go. I would push it if I were Houston. Try to get something in transition. There's Damian Dunn. Cryer, deep three. No good. Loose ball. Out of bounds. Iowa State's ball. 11.47 to go. This has been a night where the defense of Iowa State has turned it off. It's watch this great pass by Hassan Ward on the steal one-handed and then makes that hustle play, runs the floor, gets rewarded. Terrific tip at the rim. This is a guy that was not in the rotation last year. T.J. Otzelberger, after the season, said, do you want to push your cards in the middle or do you want to pick your chips up and go home? You, you decide. And uh, decided to stay, work at it. Was out for much of November, December with a foot injury. And uh, you can see why they're excited to have him back on that front line to go along with Big Rob Energy, Rob Jones. And what you saw a moment ago might be the most telling statistic of this game. Iowa State's up 17-4 in points off turnovers. Yeah, and it's so important, Rich, because it's so hard for both teams to score in the half court. These are two elite defensive teams. Lipsy. Good dig. That's a Jay. great block. He had four blocks on Saturday from the point guard position. Shed just throws it up on the window, and he got fouled, and will go to the line. Now, this is a smart play by Shed, but watch on the defensive end. Saturday, he had four of these, and among point guards in the country, he may be as good at blocking shots as anybody, holds his ground, and then he's off to the races. And then he just throws his body into the defender. And he's going to come up with two free throws. This is a kid, Rich, remember, as a freshman, he was schooled every day in practice by Quentin Grimes, Marcus Sasser, and Dejan Jarrell, all who have spent time in the NBA. And when we talked to him today, he said, I never got down because they kept telling me, you're going to be good, you're going to be good. And uh, maybe as important a player on a team as there is in college basketball. Coming up on 1,000 career points. And with the way that this Houston program has won during his time there, he's going to go down as one of the all-time greats. He will. Yep. He's a culture warrior, we call him. Six points for Shed, a two-point Iowa State lead with the ball. Number two Cougars looking to remain undefeated. 10 on the shot clock. 
Now five to shoot. Nice pass. Jones blocked again by Shed. And here he is again on the breakaway. Unbelievable. Timeout, Iowa State. Jamal Shed goes on a personal 4 0 run to knock this game up at 41 since the opening tip. Uh, he is the head of that snake. There's no question about it. Houston 7 for 11 from the field in the second half. They made only four field goals or six field goals in the first half. This is the first time we have a tie game since there was no score in this game. You didn't think seriously now that Houston would go away. Not at all. Yep. And T.J. Otzelberger didn't think that either. No, there's no question. This is now a 10-minute game. 10.32 to go. Houston comes in 14-0. Best offense has been this guy driving. Lipsy working on Shed. Tipped and taken away by Francis. Yep, Lipsy got caught in that coffin corner, and you know you're going to get double team there, and he didn't get rid of it. Great play by Francis. A chance for the lead for the first time tonight. Offensive rebound by Roberts. Get it out. You got time. Ten on the shot clock. They got nothing. Three to shoot. Francis does off the window, rebounded by King. Big time rebound by King. He needed that. And at the other end, King delivers. That's good. In and out. Look good off his hand. Yes, it did. Good passing out of that double team. Lipsy. Loves going to the left side. King tries a three. And got it! Just the second three-pointer of the season for Trey King. And Kelvin Sampson wants to talk it over. Two timeouts remaining for the Houston Cougars. Two timeouts remaining for Iowa State. Rich, Saturday in Norman, Trey King sat in the second half and watched a lot of basketball, did not play. He was challenged in the last couple days of practice to play big boy basketball against this Houston team. And right now he's responding with five straight and giving the Cyclones a little muscle to that hustle. 24-year-old Trey King, the eighth oldest player in the Big 12, and he delivers on a big stage in a big moment. And for those of you who may be watching a game from Hilton Coliseum for the first time, just a reminder, the students aren't back in classes yet. Cyclone Alley is one of the fiercest student sections in the whole nation. It's still a sellout crowd here in Ames. Busted up a play. Kelvin Sampson upset. They had a set for LJ. Shed, no. And the rebound put back by Tugler goes. What do we say about the Houston Cougars? Their best offense is off in the missed shot. Good job right there by the freshman who will eventually become a star here. Monchilovic. And Randy Tilly says there's a foul on the floor as bodies go flying. King, Jones for Iowa State, Tugler, Roberts for Houston. That's like offensive line play in football. Rough and tumble in there. Jones out, Ford back in.
And now 20 on the shot clock as the clones have it. An extra possession. Watch the trap here. 10 to shoot. Lipsy's got a mismatch. Five on the clock. Jones just tosses it up at the front of the rim. Juwan Robertson think it was a mismatch. Here's Cryer, pull up. Too strong off the window. And now both defenses bearing down as we expected. Yep. Ball's got to move, can't be stuck in traps. And ultimately, I think the best offense for this team is Taman Lipsy getting to the rim. Corner three. Too strong from Curtis Jones. Rebound by Roberts. Houston can tie it up again with the three. There's only been one tie in this ballgame. Eight to shoot. Shed. Float game. Well, you talk about probing right there. He probed for about 10 seconds and then realized what he had in his arsenal was that floater. And now Jamal Shedd surpasses the 1,000-point plateau. That dunk from Trey King goes awry, but he was fouled and will go to the line. We'll take a timeout. 6.46 to go. Don't go anywhere. A nail-biter in Hilton. In the state of Florida, I got to see him play in person a couple times, and he does not look like a freshman. No, and he doesn't look like he looks like a linebacker. Exactly. Like a defensive back, and his dad, obviously a Hall of Famer, and uh, Wes Miller loves him. They went to they went to uh, BYU Saturday night, came away with a big road win. Two free throws from Trey King, and the lead is back to three. Houston's made seven threes tonight. Double team, half court. And he traveled with it. Well, they had a set play that was going to lead into a jump shot for Cryer. But watch the double team. They smother the passer. And there's no way Jamal Shedd can find the uh, open man. Look at this. Lipsy. The follow, no good. But a fresh 20 for the clones. Mochilovic. And King the offensive rebound. Beating the Cougs at their own game. Good defense by good defense by Francis in the lane. He went vertical. He's been taught to play vertically. Great job by the big man. Sharp. Pulls his way to the basket. 20 points for Emmanuel Sharp. What a game for the young man from Tampa, known for his shooting. But the defense and the toughness at the rim have really come on in his sophomore season. What a weapon he is. His fourth 20-point game this year. Lipsy puts his shoulder down and draws the foul. Watch Emmanuel Sharp. Now, he's made five threes tonight, so he knows that they're going to crowd that three-point line, so he gets to the rim. Good job by Jones again. Those big guys taught well on both ends to play vertically and a good finish. Nearly 50% of his team's points, number 21 in black, Emmanuel Sharp, who doesn't turn 20 until March 7th. That's crazy because, remember, this is his third year. Right. Played for his dad in Tampa, his high school coach. Remember, his dad was a great player in Europe, one of the Maccabi Tel Aviv's all-time greats, Derek Sharp. After going one for five from the charity stripe, Taman Lipsy has made his last three, make it his last four. He has 14. Shed calls his own number, in and out. And one and done again for the Cougs. The last undefeated team in college basketball is on the ropes. Good footwork, almost travel, but he didn't. Pick 
picked off by Shed. He has more steals than turnovers this season. Wow. A hard screen. Lipsy goes down. No foul called. Another screen coming from Francis. The watch the double team. Big to big passing. But they come up empty again. TJ Altsberger calling for horns on the offensive end. <laughs> Lipsy, three. That would have brought the house down. Sharp. Oh, right there. Great rebound. What a putback. What a job, and, and it looks like Francis is limping, but what a job by Jawan Roberts on the offensive glass. All six of Roberts' points have come in the second stanza, but now a whistle stops play as Javier Francis is down, grabbing his right knee. And John Houston, the trainer, comes out to check on him. nodding as if he's going to be okay, but the training staff's going to help him off. We'll take a timeout, step aside with 4.04 to go. A white-knuckle affair in Ames. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is the lone remaining undefeated team coming into tonight at 14-0. Iowa State has six wins against top 10 opponents over the last two seasons. That's under the guidance of T.J. Altsberger, who's second all-time to the great Johnny Orr in that category at Iowa State. Well, how about Big 12 basketball, Rich? This is exactly what we've come to expect. What a great start to the season. Five to shoot for the clones. Trey King will try it again from three. Too strong, and the rebound goes to Tugler. Rich, has Houston had the lead tonight? They have not. There's only been one tie at 41 all. Otherwise, it's been all Iowa State. A bucket here changes that for the Cougs. Monchovic moves his feet well for a 6'8 player. Watch. Five to shoot. Shed pulls up, nails it. A dozen for Jamal Shed, and Houston's on top for the first time tonight. Six letters, man. Winner, winner, spell it. Winner. Does Iowa State have an answer? Mumchilovic almost turned it over. Ten to shoot. King. Nice pass. And the payoff to Robert Jones. Trey King is delivered tonight. Nine points, seven rebounds, and a great look inside. Just when they needed him. Punch, counter punch. Here comes the trap. Now Tugler, the freshman, to shed. Tugler, offensive foul. And that's his fourth. Well, let's go back a couple of plays ago. Clock running down. Houston trying to take the lead. Pretty good defense right here. Terrific shot. And then on the other end, Rich, TJ Otzelberger wanted Trey King to step up big tonight. And watch the little drop off inside to Robert Jones. Big possession right now for the Cougars. They need a stop. So I stand corrected. JoJo Tugler has fouled out with three points. Francis is back in, a good sign. Two minutes to go. Gilbert, 10 and white with the ball. And Iowa State turns it over. Shed. Roberts, no putback. Great effort, but he didn't have his eyes on the rim, Juwan.
And the ball's in the hands of the sophomore sensation, Taman Lipsy. Lipsy gives it up. A good look to 24 in white, Hassan Ward, and Ward will go to the line. Eric Sharp thought he got all ball. Gary Maxwell said he got a little body along with it. Watch the dump off right here. Sharp comes in from the weak side. A little bump, good call. And Hassan's going to shoot a free throw. Watch, watch Sharp there. The exaggerated follow through. Good call. Gary Maxwell, one of the best. Hassan Ward, two for seven in his third game back from the free throw line. And that's a humongous one. Ward's got nine. Could we see the latest chapter in the book called Hilton Magic tonight? Nope, they waved it off because he went in too early, Hassan Ward. And if you remember, in their last game in Norman, Hassan Ward missed the free throw and dumped the follow. Tried to do that again. He's not allowed to break the point until the ball hits the rim. Let's watch. Oh, he did. It's a good call. DJ Otzelberger is okay with that. He said, great effort. He lost his crowd. Oh, man. Hilton Magic. Listen in. And an indication of just how loud it is inside this building, Kelvin Sampson had to call Gary Maxwell over right next to him in order to tell him he wanted a timeout call. So that means the Cougars have one timeout remaining. Possession arrow in favor of the homestanding Cyclones, and they're in the double bonus. Houston still has, uh, or Iowa State still has fouls to give before Houston goes to the free throw line. So take us inside the huddles, Fran. Well, they would love to get LJ Cryer loose. They have not been able to do that tonight. The defense has been stifling. So you have Shed or Sharp. You've got three guys out there to make baskets. And what they have to do right now, and Kelvin, remember, six years in the NBA, he's a master at after timeout plays. But it's got to be one of those big three who can create offense and make a three. The Cougars, 26 straight regular season wins if they could escape with a victory tonight. They also have 12 straight road wins coming into tonight. And they are the only undefeated team in college basketball remaining. But they've got their work cut out for us with a minute 12 to go. Don't forget, coming up over on ESPN at 9 Eastern, number 11, Duke taking on Pittsburgh at the Peterson Event Center. Interestingly enough, Pitts led by Blake Henson, who averages 19 a game for the Panthers. He spent a season here and never played a game for the Cyclones. This is his third school, you are correct. Ole Miss, Iowa State, and now really sorry for Jeff Cable. That'll be a fun game at the Peterson Event Center. But we've got, hey, Rich, we've been waiting for this all offseason, haven't we? This is the Big 12. And two of the best defenses in college basketball have squared off, and no one's blinked yet. I'll tell you, a quietly effective defender tonight is Keyshawn Gilbert. He has worn L.J. Cryer like a suit. Let's see who he's going to guard. Oh, zone. First time tonight, 2-3 zone. Now, Houston saw this a lot Saturday against West Virginia and carved it up. Let's see. Shed calls his own number again. And I like the changing defense, but I also know that they had a lot of practice on Saturday. A tie game for the second time tonight. Crowd wanted a foul, didn't get one. Ten to shoot. T.J. Otzelberger calls one of his two remaining timeouts. Jamal Shedd's come alive in the second yeah, half, friend. He, he got into the teeth of the 2-3 zone. Take a look. There's a little ball screen here at the top. You see the big fella come out, and then he just gathers himself, and he hits a 10-footer. And uh, again, all this guy does is make winning plays from Maynard, Texas, about 150 miles away from Houston. 
He learned under the tutelage of some great point guards before him, and now he is running the show for Kelvin Sampson. And he's got a couple great guards on that coaching staff. You think back to Kelvin's great Oklahoma teams, Hollis Price, Quantus White. He gets to work with them every day. Now, Rich, on the other side, it has to be in Taman Lipsy's hands. He is the one guy that can create offense for himself or his teammates via the kick out three or the dump off inside. 36.2 to go. Both teams with one timeout remaining. Iowa State still has two fouls to give. They're in the double bonus. So two free throws on every subsequent Houston foul. And possession arrow in favor of the Cyclones. What does TJ Otzelberger have to dial up in the final 36 ticks in this game? Well, this is right, Tate and Lipsy decided to stay home. He grew up and went to high school two, two miles north of here. Ames High. You see Monte Morris and Ty Halliburton in this situation many times. Lipsy, Gilbert, King, Jones, and Momchilovic on the floor for Iowa State. If there's a ball screen, Houston has to be very careful not to foul. Ten to shoot for Iowa State. Gilbert goes inside to the freshman, spins, and hits! A near impossible angle for Milan Momchilovic! Rich, who did we compare him to earlier? Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, you're going to love this shot. Take a look. The double team comes, and he turns away from the double team. And, folks, that is not an accident. This kid can play. He's got a lot of these kind of shots. Watch the double come. So he spins away from the big guy and shoots it over the little guy, which is a high IQ play. Milan Mochilovic with his first bucket of the second half, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Second in the Big 12 in scoring for a freshman, and that was the biggest bucket so far in his Big 12 career. You mentioned it a couple seconds ago. Iowa State has two fouls to give, which means they can stay aggressive for a couple of possessions. And keep in mind, the Houston Cougars, if they have one weakness, it's at the free throw line. They shoot collectively 67% from the strike. That's 292nd in the nation. The likelihood is their best free throw shooters will have the ball, however. Here we go. A three for the lead. Off the mark by Cryer. Got a foul. And Sharp does, fouling Munchilovich. Fran, it's still not over with 10.7 to go, but they're feeling it here in Hilton. Yep, and, and they ran a great play, Houston, for L.J. Cryer for a three. Little misdirection action. L.J. had a good look, and he just overshot it. Two free throws coming for number 22 in white. A 91% free throw shooter. He's made 30 of his 33 free throws this season. Let's see if TJ calls a timeout here. And he does. They're on their feet inside Hilton Coliseum. Looking to add another chapter of Hilton Magic to the books. Rich, what you love about this play from the freshman is he knows he's going to get double teamed in the post, so he's got a choice of turning one way or the other. He turns away from the little man in order to create space. And we said Bird, we said Novitsky, vintage right there, and also the gumption to take that shot. 
the most home wins against top 25 teams in the last decade plus. Only Kansas and Indiana have more than the Iowa State Cyclones. Clones looking to add number 32 to their tally tonight. Now, they can give a foul or two if they want to slow Houston down. Let's see if they do. Last shot time. And Keyshawn Gilbert gets the foul immediately. Now, I would not foul here. I would not foul. Make them make a shot because it's a two-possession game. And TJ saying just that. Iowa State's defense has forced Houston into its most turnovers in a game this season. Shed, short, time running down. Roberts can't follow. And this one is in the books. Helen Magic making headlines again. The Iowa State Cyclones are 10-0 at home, and they hand the number two Houston Cougars its first loss of the season. There are no more undefeated teams in college basketball. Cyclones improved to 12-3 on the season and 1-1 one and one in Big 12 play. The Cougars, their first loss, their 14-1, and, and also 1-1 one one in Big 12 play. And it's Iowa State's seventh win against a top 10 foe in the last two plus years. save this question till the end Taman but you're an Ames kid you were a little cyclone and now you're a big cyclone what does a moment like this mean to you uh, it means the world to me uh, I grew up wanting to be on this stage wanting to play for Iowa State in games just like this beating the number uh, two team in the country and it's a great feeling I love all these fans I love my team I love my coaches it's awesome in this league you got to have a selective memory pass behind you what was the last 48 hours like knowing number two was coming in undefeated yeah, we were disappointed in our performance uh, down in Norman. Uh, we wanted to get back to Hilton and get right back to it. And we know what we do in Hilton. It's not an easy place to play. And we don't like how we were the underdog today. We don't think we should be an underdog in Hilton Coliseum. So uh, we came out here with a lot of fight. And shout out to Houston. They're a great team. What does this say about an Iowa State team that they're not under the radar? You guys are receiving votes in the top 25, but you lost your first Big 12 game of the season. For people who are seeing Iowa State for the first time tonight, what's the message we're a fighting team we're a young team we're going to learn a lot through this big 12 play and we're just going to get better and better every game and not to doubt us i would not doubt us all right well this is another chapter of hilton magic and you've written your name into that book tame and lipsy congratulations on the dub yes sir thank you very much that's tame and lipsy for the iowa state cyclones who upset the Houston Cougars and knock them from the ranks of the unbeaten. That'll do it from Ames, Iowa, where Iowa State wins it 57-53 for Fran Fraschilla. I'm Rich Hollenberg. Thanks for watching. So long from Ames. Now we send it over to Tom Hart and Jay Williams with the call. SEC basketball, Texas A&M and Auburn coming up.